To make the noodles, boil some water. While we wait for the water to boil, we'll start chopping the green onions. When you chop a green onion, you don't really want the white part at the bottom of the green onion. So we'll just cut off that. So now we'll just cut into little rounds. And now we can start peeling our cucumber. noodles in the bowl. So now what we want to do, we want to set a timer for five to eight minutes. So we'll go with eight. And we will pour the water over the noodles. There we go. And now we'll start our timer. So eight minutes. Just gonna get a spoon and we're gonna break up the noodles so that they're not all in a clump and all of them are in the water. And with these noodles, you really just wanna follow the instructions on the back of the box because some of them are gonna have to cook for longer, others are not. And you only wanna stir occasionally with these ones. Make sure they're all under there. So now when our timer goes off, we'll know that they're done. So now we will quarter our cucumber. to cut along the edges of the seeds and then you're just going to empty them out into the garbage. And you want to have as much cucumber part of the cucumber as possible so make sure that you just get around the seeds. So you just want to de it with a spoon because the round part of the spoon makes it easier to scrape off than a knife and it's easy to just scoop out, whereas a knife just has a flat edge, not a rounded one. So now that those are seeded, quartered, and peeled, we'll just cut them into little matchstick sized strips. So in order to do that, I'm just going to cut each quarter in half, and then half again, until it becomes matchstick size. You're going to want to cut it vertically so that you have as much cucumber as possible. Just like that. Just gonna give our noodles a quick stir. They're getting nice and soft, which is perfect. Now our cucumbers are done being cut, peeled, quartered, and seeded. So now we will cut this apple into small slices. So a little bigger than these, but not that much. And you cut an apple, once you make a flat edge, you want to put it on the edge, because otherwise it can roll away from you, and you don't want that. Every time, just flip it onto the next edge so that you can do the next side. So we're going to strain our noodles and we're going to pour some cold water over top to stop the cooking process. That's called blanching them. Ready? 
finish cutting our apple. And right now, I think we should get out our broth so that it can be at room temperature when we have to use it. And now, we'll put it all together. So, we'll get out a shallow bowl. And, first, we'll put a quarter cup of the broth into the bowl. Some bean sprouts, just a handful, spoonful of noodles, some of the peanut sesame sauce, apple slices on top, some cucumber. Green onion, some ginger, and if you want, you can put some of the peanuts and sesame seeds over top. That looks divine. Mmm, so divine. Now, get to you!